Yeah, so I haven't known Mogi for a very long time, but he like, he has had an impact on the boys for the time that he has been here. He's a class player, and I think playing in France like, it's an opportunity whilst you're young and still fit to play. I don't think you can turn it down. So fair play to him and good luck. So you know, Dan uh, has been great. You know, he's uh, yeah, he's obviously a, a classy player. Um, you know, he's he's worked hard for us this year. You know, it's been disappointing since his injury, but. You know, he, he put everything you know, into being here, which you know, we thank him for and we wish him all the best. So Dan, you've announced today you're off to Pastures New, off to Central France to play rugby over there. What made you decide to leave Plymouth Albion? Um, it was a really hard decision to start with. Um, I've really, really enjoyed my season here and um, you know, th this is home for me, so it was a really hard decision. But I think, um, I think for me, it's time to kind of really try and start to, to push my rugby on again and push my rugby career up to that to that next stage. Um, you know, Pro Deux in France is is a is a good level of rugby. It's um, it's a big deal over there, and I'm really looking forward to trying trying to get myself stuck into it. You've been suffering a bit with injuries recently, ruptured a tendon in your finger against Caldy in February and went on to break your arm in the gym. But other than that, how, was, how do you think your season's gone? Yeah, no, year? as I said, I re really enjoyed the season. It's been, um, it's been really enjoyable. You know, I think um, you know, I came here, uh, as it's been well reported, in, in not a great space. And um, actually, it's, it's really helped me on and off the field, um, being part of Plymouth Albion as a club, you know, so that goes from everybody, from from all the lads uh, in the squad, the coach and the coaches, uh, everyone behind the scenes at Albion, and, and also all, all the fans. So I've thoroughly enjoyed my time here, and as I say, it was a really hard decision to to have to make to say, look, you know, I think it's time to to push my rugby career on the next step, and you know, I hope that Albion next season can have a great season and, and push on to the next level, and you know, never say never, I might be back one day. And how is your fitness now? How how's your arm recovering? Terrible, absolutely <laughs> terrible. Um, no, look, my arms, my arms getting there. Um, unfortunately, obviously, we had a chat last week. Thought maybe might be able to get back uh, for a game. Unfortunately, having have a chat with the doctors. Um, looks like it's just the contact side of it that I'm not going to be able to do uh, before before it gets back, um, which is a real shame. You know, I'd have liked to have been able to run out with the boys for one last time. And, uh, in front of the crowd here, but um, unfortunately it's not to be. But you know we're moving on slowly. It's getting there. Um, so you know, day by day, step by step, really. And um, what are you hoping to get out of the period in in, in France? Um, I think it's just again, it's, as I say, it's for me. It's just pushing that, pushing my rugby onto that next stage again. It's um, you know, as I say, I've really enjoyed it this year. It's been a thoroughly enjoyable experience being here. Um, but for me, I, I need a challenge. I need to challenge myself. Um, it's something completely new. I've never, I don't really speak French. You know, I've never spent much time in France. Um, so it's a real, it's going to be a real challenge for me, and something that's completely different from anything that I've done before. Um, and you know, as I say, that that level of rugby is is a slight increase, uh, and that's going to be a great test for my my skill again. So I'm really looking forward to kind of getting out there, testing myself against some great players, and hopefully, you know, doing doing what I can to help the team push forward. And you're still relatively young at 26. You've already achieved a lot in a short career. What are your long-term ambitions for your rugby? Um, to be honest, I'm, I'm not looking too far ahead, really. I think um, it's a tough one. Obviously, you always want to you always want to be playing at as high a level as possible, and, and that's still kind of going to be the end goal for me. Um, I think much of this year, I didn't didn't really focus on that too much, which allowed me to to enjoy the present, enjoy being here, playing here week in, week out, and I think that's the way forward for me. I think it's just about enjoying what I'm doing um, at the time and, and seeing what comes from it. No, no need to put too much pressure on myself to, to, to you know, be playing at the highest level. Obviously, that's that's the, the end goal, that's brilliant, but at the end of the day, you know, it's it's here and now, it's, it's today that counts, so that's what I'm just looking to do from here on in. And you came back home to Devon after quite a difficult period in your life. Have you got a message to the supporters, the fans, the players and your sponsor who kind of got behind you for that year? Absolutely. As I said earlier, I touched on it there. Just, you know, I've, I've come, I came back here in not a great space and I can't thank everyone enough for, for kind of accepting me in with, with open arms and, and getting behind me. It's been, it's been a, a tough year at times, but actually it's been made so much easier um, by everybody involved on and off the field, as you say, from from the lads in the changing room, coaching staff to the supporters, from everybody behind the scenes, 
um, you know, Dave, the owner, um, absolutely been, you know, phenomenal for me. So I can't thank you enough. And I hope, I really do hope that one day, um, you know, when that will be, I don't know, but I hope one day I, I can come back and, and repay that faith in me, really. And I'm sure everyone at the club would, would really like to wish you well with your ne the next stage of your journey, Dan. So thanks for everything that you've given to Albion and best of luck for the future. Thank you very much.